In my previous video, I complained about Linux disadvantages. To be fair, now I have to highlight Linux advantages. Let's talk about why I like Linux. Some statistics. Let's start with some statistics to see where Linux is doing the best. 47% of professional developers use Linux-based operating systems. Linux is used in about 70% of web servers worldwide, while Windows is used only in about 20%. 90% of cloud infrastructure operates on Linux. Linux stands behind the top 500 fastest supercomputers in the world. SpaceX used Linux systems to complete 65 missions so far. About 90% of Hollywood special effects rely on Linux. There are almost 33 million Linux users in the world. This means there is something wealthy in Linux. Cost, free and open source. Linux is free because it's an open source operating system. It is distributed under the GNU general public license, which allows anyone to study, modify and distribute the software. I installed my first Linux in 2010 and it was Ubuntu. I was shocked. It looked beautiful. It was different from Windows. Everything seemed to be more intuitive and the best part, it was totally free. I was a poor student at that time and I could not afford a Windows license. So having this operating system that was better than Windows, in my view, and did not bear any cost was absolutely amazing. 12 years later, I'm still using Linux. It had dramatic impact on my career because it made me interested in programming and I became a bioinformatician. I also recall how I watched different Linux tutorials on YouTube in 2010. Now in 2023, I run my own Linux YouTube channel with almost 100,000 subscribers. All of this happened because Linux is free. It is so easy to try and it is difficult not to fall in love with Linux. Security. I have never had any security problems with Linux. You can find plenty of explanations why Linux is secure, but I would like to share my personal experience. First of all, there is almost no viruses on Linux because it is less targeted by hackers. I remember when I just started using Linux, I would do regular scans for viruses with Clam AV. I also used Bitdefender free antivirus scanner for Linux. Now I do not do antivirus scans, I only occasionally scan my system for rootkits I have never got a virus on Linux. On the other hand, during my short experience with Windows, I got viruses within two weeks without an active antivirus. Second, I always have a firewall active on my system. It is not necessary, but I always say it is better to be safe than sorry. I had my office computer running 24x7 with open SSH port, so I could connect to it from my home for seven years, and it has never been hacked. I took some security measures, such as I did not use the default SSH port and I did not allow root access over SSH. I also use SSH keys in addition to a password for authentication. Third, by design you run Linux as a regular user and you need to type password for any administrative tasks. This reduces the chance that something bad happens to your system. Now Windows follows similar strategy and it asks your confirmation for administrative tasks, but I remember in the past you could run Windows as an admin and anything could get installed on your system without you even knowing about it. Fourth, Linux has a unique developmental model that allows for more rapid and frequent updates than Windows and Mac OS. I don't remember the details right now, but in 2018 when Spectre vulnerability was discussed a lot, Linux got it fixed quite fast and without strong performance impact, while in Windows this fix significantly slowed down performance. Finally, almost all Linux distros offer encryption of the home folder during the install. This makes your data secure in case your laptop gets stolen. Also, thanks to Linux, I learned to encrypt all my external hard drives. And this encryption is done with free tools. Stability. I cannot recall when my KDE Neon crashed last time. Maybe 10 years ago, some Linux distros were not so stable and did crash. I remember when I tried Kubuntu 10.10 with KDE 4. Some of you may not even know how KDE 4 looked like. 
it crashed within minutes after I installed it. I also recall early versions of Ubuntu would crash from time to time when you just get a black screen. But there were also Linux distros that never crashed on my computer. I enjoyed using OpenSUSE in 2011 to 2013. I also used such a distro as Pardus Linux, that was the most stable KDE distro at that time. Then I ran Linux Mint KDE for over 5 years. I cannot recall any crash. I ran it in my office for months without reboot, with very heavy computational load. I also used Arch Linux, which I installed and configured totally myself, and it was also very stable. Today, only some apps on Linux may misbehave and freeze. I would kill them and restart, not a big deal. But my experience with Windows was that you get an error message that you cannot close. It fills the whole screen and the only solution is to reboot. No such things ever happens in Linux. Privacy. The open source code of Linux make it fully transparent. Maybe a regular Linux user doesn't have knowledge to check the code, but at least it is possible to check it. And it is regularly checked by knowledgeable people in the Linux community. And I trust them. On the other hand, you don't know what Windows and Mac are doing with your data. There are companies behind some Linux distros, but Linux is still driven by a community. You may remember a privacy scandal when Canonical, a company behind Ubuntu, added Amazon search results in the Ubuntu menu. Canonical tried to make some money of this, but users complained that it compromised their privacy. After some fights, this feature has been removed. If you want the most private Linux distro, I recommend Arch Linux. First of all, you have to learn the whole system when you build it, and you know what you have on your system and what processes you allow to run on your system. Second, Arch Linux Wiki gives thorough advice on privacy of different programs. Third, if you look at the Arch Linux donation page, it looks old, isn't it? This is because Arch Linux prioritizes simplicity and privacy. There are no third parties on this page. High performance. Linux is the best operating system for heavy computer tasks. I work in the field of computational biology and we use Linux clusters for heavy computational tasks. I also often run some intense jobs on my Linux desktop, and it also handles it pretty well. It can be a job that loads my processor for all 100% and it runs for hours or even days sometimes. No crashes, no errors. Also, Linux is generally more lightweight than Windows, which makes it faster and more efficient on the same hardware. For example, KDE Neon uses 600 MB right after the boot. Windows on the other hand takes more than 2 GB of RAM memory right away. You can also use Linux on old hardware, where Windows won't be able to run. I have a laptop running Debian XFCE for 11 years. It is used by my parents now. Customization. Linux is open source, meaning you have full access to the underlying code and can customize the user interface, applications, and other aspects of the system. Windows and macOS have much less customization options. In Plasma 5 desktop, I can completely change the layout of my panels. You can do similar things in Mate desktop. I can customize the file manager with additional tools in the panel. I can also add some custom scripts as a service menu. I can edit some system files, for example to disable group delay and boot my system 5 seconds faster. I can also control how my RAM memory is used by increasing or decreasing swap usage. If you want to learn how computer memory works, there is a brilliant course on this topic that I am taking right now. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn interactively. Every lesson is a bite-sized. You are presented with a concept in a concise form and given a question on this concept to check if you got it right. Whenever you need help, Brilliant will show you an explanation. There are thousands of interesting courses. I particularly like the courses on computer science, algorithms, Python programming, and neural networks. Try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days. Visit Brilliant.org average Linux user or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off 
Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Flexibility. Linux is very flexible in terms of what task you want it to do. There are different Linux distros and Linux desktop environments that are targeted for different tasks. For example, I use KDE Neon with Plasma 5 on my desktop computer because I need maximum customization and visually pleasing desktop. I also have low-end Acer Swift laptop and I run elementary OS on it because it's very lightweight and yet very beautiful. I don't need any customization because I use it only for web browsing when I travel. When I had mid-range laptop, I wanted maximum performance and yet with a lot of customization. So I ran Debian XFCE on it. I even used Raspberry Pi. It is a very small and cheap computer, if you don't know. I ran Raspberry OS on it. It's a modified version of Debian. Finally, only Linux offers such a feature as Live USB. You can run Linux from a USB without installing it. Community Linux has a strong community of users who contribute to its development and provide support to each other. I'm not involved in Linux development, but I have a lot of experience with support. From my experience, you can find answers to 99.9% .9 of questions. If not, ask a question on the forum and you will get help. I used Linux Mint forum a few times and I always got help. I also try to help others with my answers, with these videos and my blog. Documentation. Linux has documentation for everything. If it is a command line tool, use the man command or the help option and you will see detailed instructions of the tool. If it is a graphical program, go to the help menu or press F1 and you will see its documentation. If you need the best and the only place to read about different Linux tools, go to the Arch Linux wiki. It is the best documentation I ever seen in Linux and in general. It is written for Arch Linux, but it is often useful even if you use another Linux distro. By the way, if you want to try Arch Linux, I have two tutorials on how to install Arch Linux automatically and the Arch way. Linux makes you smarter. Linux makes you smarter because you constantly learn. When you decide to install Linux, you start learning about how to make a live USB, what Linux partitioning is, what sudo is. After the installation, you may go to one of my after install tutorials and learn how you can fine tune your system. Then you decide to customize your system with different themes. Whenever you get a problem, you go and search for a solution. I learned the most about Linux when I was using Arch Linux as my main system. Arch Linux is an amazing experience, I highly recommend it. I also learn new things every time I'm creating these videos for you. So I would appreciate if you subscribe to this channel and help me reach 100,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching.